the calf. It's coming. It's in a few weeks. So we got to do the calf and then the tests. So first thing I got here for now is this halter monitor. Right there. Looks like a belt and then there's just the extra wires in my pocket and then goes up my shirt and onto this and then there's another one right here another one right here so it's a 24 hour one let's check the time it tells the time what time is it oh look at that 5 35 so we get it off in like exactly five hours from now so that's pretty great it's the worst man sleeping with it no, it gets all tangled around me and yeah so you know halter monitors not the best thing um what else can I say about it so it doesn't hurt as much as it just itches on the stickers and then you know the wires feel uncomfortable if you're running around somewhere so mostly just having a chill day so yeah overall Ultra monitors aren't that bad. They're just annoying when you sleep and when you're trying to like move around somewhere. And they're itchy. And time goes by way shorter when you have them on. So, yeah. I guess they're fine, but I definitely prefer not to have it. Anyway, I don't know what's next in this video. This video is going to take like a month to make and this is just the first thing I'm making. So, yeah, I guess... You're about to find out what's gonna happen next. All right, guys, here we are. We're at the hospital, and just well, our next thing for this calf is uh, uh, I don't know what's called the X-ray thing. So here we go. All right, so it's actually called a DEXA scan or a DXA scan. It pretty much just checks my bone density. So, uh, let's see how my bones are doing here. And, um, yeah, so, right here, I remember I was just kind of like laying down. And it was like making me kind of dizzy, so I closed my eyes. And then I was like, still kind of dizzy? But I just kind of... Like, this is a sped up video, so like, it was like super slow, going for like five minutes. And it was like super uncomfortable, just laying flat right there, like no color or anything. <laughs> but, yeah. All right, well, that was easy. So, we'll get back with the next thing next week. All right, you guys, we're here for lung testing and labs, which, you know, not good. But this is the last thing before the surgery, and then you know, stuff after the surgery. So, pretty nervous right now. Wish me luck. All right, guys, so right here, I was getting my labs done, and it was a lot. They were taking so much blood this time. And then this is me after, like, my arm was hurting, man. You'll see me in this next video talking about how it feels. Well, that just happened. Now we're sitting here waiting. And I got this, it hurts a lot. And my arm feels cold, and like there's no blood in my fingers. But they got the labs done. Apparently I have to do a pee test. So that's nice, I guess. And then we just waited for my lung test right now. So, you know. So I got the pee test done. And then me and my mom ended up just sitting here waiting for my lung test. Which, you know, couldn't really film much of that. But that's the machine that they put me in. But yeah, so. All right, well, we're done. And, uh. Lung tests, speed tests, uh, labs, all done. I feel pretty dizzy. So, yeah, and my arm hurts. But other than that, we're all good. And we'll film as much as we can of the cap tomorrow. Peace out. All right, here we are. It's a good morning. And we're gonna go in and get this done. And then be a long recovery. But hopefully go home tonight, so. So right here, I just woken up, and I had to make sure to take some pictures for you guys because, man, things felt weird, but I was still going strong, man. I had an IV in my hand right here, and I was just kind of chilling on that bed for six 
hours, man. It was tough, but of course, we're happy and strong. And just like that, we are on our way out. We got the socks, we got the IV uh, patch, and uh, we're out of here. In here for about eight or so hours. So we're going home. Peace. All right, you guys, really quick. Just wanna show you some things here. Some uh, pictures they took. Um, that the surgery. This little calf. So, uh, this one. All right, not the heart. My heart, to be exact. And then, this one. Right here. Is a normal heart. All right. So most of you guys will be looking at here. But uh, this is what my heart looks like. HLHS. That's what I have. Hypoplastic left heart syndrome. In case you guys didn't know. Um. So yeah. Then here's it with like the stats. So here. This little part right here. It's like the grid is what they changed. So they actually made that part bigger for your blood flow. But they said that I wouldn't feel a change, which is true. But hey, if it helps, then it helps, I guess. Anyway, here's my conclusion you're going to see next. All right, guys, to conclude, um, I ended up not being able to film my doctor's appointment. But they pretty much just said... And what they found, my lung test was, I don't need an inhaler, but I still need to wear oxygen when I sleep. And yeah, and then with my labs, everything seemed pretty normal. So that's good. And let's see here, my DEXA scan, they said I need to move my bones more, you know, do some exercise and more uh, uh voice crack <laughs> more um foods so you know um what else here we they said uh i need oh yeah so they're gonna take me off two of my medicines as they're gonna try see what happens take me off two and then bring me on a new one so that's pretty good. So overall, you know, sort of scary journey. I am filming this part at the end of May. Surgery was mid-April. I started filming this video like end of March. So or actually middle of March. It was a long video, man. But it's done now. So a long process, but sorry, I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. <laughs> Nobody cares, Alexa. Anyway. Um, yeah. Pretty successful time. Sort of scary, but... It's worth it to be healthy and strong, you know? So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.